Happy N7 Day, everyone! <laughs> the day is finally here! How is it going, people? My name is Arkin, and I hope all you guys are having a great N7 Day. <laughs> And today, we'll be celebrating Mass Effect by breaking down a post I made for Mass Effect 1. And I literally cannot contain my excitement anymore for this, let's just get right into it. <laughs> so we're literally starting this poster just by having a completely blank canvas with nothing in. But what the hell, boy? And because there's fuck all going on in the image, I thought, let's get some other images in here. So I basically just started building up the background first, and after 2 years and 10 billion credits, we now have a background for the poster. However, the one most important thing about the poster, we don't have. We we don't have any characters, people. What? I, I don't know what to tell you. We don't have any characters at all. There's no one here. So to start us off with some characters, I threw Saren, then I threw Shepard, oh, yeah. and then I threw Liara. I also couldn't find any good pictures of Anderson, so I had to make my own. So I combined these two images I found of Anderson, blended them together, and then I threw this in as well. And then I threw in Mr. Calibration. If I hear one more crack about calibration, the next person I threw into this poster was Tally, and I wanted her to stand a bit differently holding an Omni tool. So I actually had to go and take a picture of her arm, attach it to her, and I also had to attach a hand to it. So the next people I threw into the poster were actually Ashy and Kaden, and I was kind of contemplating having both of them on the poster, because in my playthrough, Ashy just fucking. So the next person I threw into the poster was Rex, and I have no clue at all where the hell he's working. I needed to fill the right side of the poster, so I just threw an explosion in, and then I also threw some guests. I also threw in the maker as well. To fill in the space on the left of the poster, I threw in a mass relay, and I also threw in the normally SR1 in front of it. Okay. I also added Matriarch Benezia, <laughs> and then I also threw in the Destiny Ascension as well. And then finally, to tell us about how insignificant we are, I also threw in Sovereign as well. Fuck you! I then also jumped back to the background, and I actually started adding in some stuff that made it look like the light was coming from around the characters, rather than the edges of the poster. And so we finally start with our first captain of the poster, Tally. So to start off with Tally, I started by throwing in a few layers at her, I kind of just coloured her blue, and then I also threw in a few exposure layers just to give her some shadows. Tally herself was actually a bit too bright, so I actually did throw in two curved layers just to darken her a whole lot, and I also gave her an Omni tool as well. I did some editing on the Omni tool, and I just took away some of the colour, and then I actually gave it a cool orange glow. I quickly made Tally just a little bit more blue, and I basically just painted over this little gap I saw on the poster. And I actually moved to the explosion on the right, and I basically just started blowing up the explosion just with brightness and kind of giving it sort of a glow. And then I was looking at the Geth, and then they're, they're just standing there, I don't know what the fuck he's pointing at. But they were just standing there, and I wanted to do some more with them. Starting with the Geth Prime on the left, so I first actually tinted the guy the same colour as the explosion, and then I also added an exposure layer just to add some shadows in where there wasn't going to be any light hitting him. And then I also threw a highlights layer on him, but they weren't as bright as the explosion, so I threw an exposure layer on top of the highlights layer just to brighten those motherfuckers up. I also painted like a really soft orange haze behind him just to kind of give a more cinematic look to him. I then used this technique again on the really tiny ass Geth next to him. He's really fucking small. And yeah, I basically just did all those things again, basically just tinting him, adding shadows, adding highlights, and then adding exposure to those highlights. And then believe it or not, we had to do it a third time for the Geth on the right. She didn't have to cut me to make the Geth look a little closer to where the explosion was happening, I made a new solid colour and I painted a haze over where they were standing, just to make it look like some light from the explosion was coming through them. I wanted to turn on the Geth a little bit more. Report to the ship as soon as possible. okay? I basically just painted over certain parts where they had glows coming from, so mainly their bodies and their heads. I then jumped straight back to Tally and I started giving her some highlights for the explosion. I also added the glow for her Omni tool, and before I jump back to the background, I quickly painted a few brief blue highlights on Tally. The background I just felt was kind of too dark, it was like a DC movie. So to brighten it up, I threw a few more layers in there just to brighten it up a little bit. And from here, I jumped straight to Shepard. <coughs> so for Shepard, I was basically just throwing hue and saturation color bands and exposure layers at him, just to kind of tint him into a bluish color. And after that, I kind of tried to achieve this really cinematic rim light effect. And after 10,000 layers of hue and saturation, I finally got a cool glow around it. To beef up that glow on Shepard just a little bit, I did add a hue and saturation <coughs> and solid color layer to kind of beef it up. And Shepard had this cool like glow coming from the right, but from the left, there was pretty much nothing. Bruh. And I had a really cool idea to put something in. So I actually took inspiration from the cover of Mass Effect 1, where there's this orange glow behind him, and I also had the idea to throw that into the poster too. And so with some really, really That's complex layering, I was actually able to put it in there. I threw an exposure layer behind the orange glow, and then I added the glow to the orange glow to make the orange glow glow. 
Sarah's long ass pointy elf ears were actually sticking out as well. So I had to use a layer mask to cut them off as well. And what I didn't realize is that Saren is now dead. But to make up for the fact that there's now a glow on the left, I added highlights to Shepard and I also added exposure, the same as we did for the get. Just to add more to the image, I did add a haze behind Shepard to make it look like the orange light is actually bouncing off of him. I also did add some blue haze around him and in front of him as well. And at this point, we jumped straight to Saren. Yay said, <laughs> said nobody. Fuck. No, but for the angry Saren and he looks so mad about something. I don't know what he's mad at. But for Saren, we started off the same way we did with everyone else. We just tinted him kind of blue with a color band layer. I then threw on a brightness and contrast layer just to brighten Saren up a little bit. And I also added an exposure layer to him just to kind of add some shadows. The next few things I did with Saren, I actually tweaked with his coloring and his shading before I actually added any highlights to him. Saren also had like a little bit of a dip in his head. Maybe that's why he's mad. So basically to fix this, I just made a new layer and I used the color stack tool. And I basically used other parts of him just to paint over this area. And so basically the same thing we did for Shepard, we did for Saren, but it's reversed. We threw some blue highlights on him, and then we used an exposure lid just to kind of spruce them up a little bit. I also added some orange glows for the orange beam, just like I did for Shepard. I then wanted to give Saren these like blue glowing eyes. You know, he's lost like half his face, half his body's gone. Let's just paint over his eyes as well. So I got a new solid color, and I basically painted really softly over his eyes. I then give Saren like a really small blue haze before I jump straight back to Tally. And then I found this image and I thought it would be super cool if I threw this over the Omni tool just to give it a bit more of a glow. And after we threw that in, we then jumped straight to Liara and for some reason I'm getting neck pain just looking at her. But I then threw a color band layer on Liara just to tint her a little bit more blue. The only issue with that is that she's really blue so I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I then threw an exposure layer in just to add some shadows to Liara. And after that, obviously, we've got a highlight. Hey. And then I threw in an exposure layer and another hue and saturation layer just to brighten those highlights up. But, you know, to get that cinematic look we're going for, I basically followed this up by painting a haze behind her. And I also painted a soft haze in front of her just behind the mass relay. And now we jump to Mr. Calibration's Garrus Vicarian. So I threw a color balance layer and a hue and saturation layer onto Garrus just to kind of tint him blue, just like everybody else. I then threw a linear dodge hue and saturation layer in just to brighten Garrus up a little bit. And then I hit Garrus with an exposure I'm sorry, Garrus. My dick fell off! And this was basically just to paint some shadows, mainly for the gun. And then, of course, the highlight. Hello. And obviously then I threw an exposure layer in. But I didn't feel like the highlights were bright enough, so I actually then threw in a second exposure layer just to brighten Garrus' highlights up quite a lot. And when everything else in the post was glowing, I didn't want Garrus to feel left out. So I threw in another solid color and a hue and saturation layer just to make his visor glow a whole lot more. And so to finish off Garrus, I threw in two solid colors and I painted a really soft haze behind him. And next we're jumping straight to Ashley. Oh, and I have no clue what the fuck she's even looking at. But I actually immediately got to work painting Ashley. So I basically threw in a bunch of layers on top of her. We'll go and I then you. threw an exposure layer and a curves layer on top of her just to darken her a little bit. And then I also threw an exposure layer onto her. And then I threw in so many human saturation layers and an exposure layer onto her. And this was basically just for highlights. And then obviously we finish it off just by giving another <laughs> haze behind Ashley. And then I saw the mass relay and it was like just sitting there. there. I wasn't sure whether to paint it or just fly a fucking rock into it. What the fuck? <laughs> I then threw a curves layer at it, and that was just to brighten it, and I also threw a hue and saturation, solid color, and color bands layer with it, just to tint it blue. And then, obviously, I added highlights to it, and I also added the haze to it as well. I also saw these little, like, lights on the mass relay, so I also decided to light those up. And then for this big-ass ball of energy on the mass relay, I basically just threw in two solid colors and brightened it up so fucking much. I couldn't even see anything on my screen. And then we go to the Normandy SR1. This, this is before it got shit-faced in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> So I used the levels layer just to brighten the Normandy up, and then I threw in a few layers just to tint it. And after that, I basically threw in an exposure layer and a levels layer just to add some shadows on. And then obviously hue and saturation layer for the highlights, exposure layer to brighten them up, and then obviously another hue and saturation layer just to add the haze. And one of my favorite parts of actually making this poster was I used the same technique I used to make the orange glow at the top. I basically threw a hue and saturation layer on it just to tint it blue, and then I threw it on the mass layer to make it look like the Normandy was actually blue. I also threw in a few layers quickly just to brighten this area. And then we jump straight to Caden, the man with as much personality as that new one, Verma. Oh, and so first I actually brightened up Caden, and then obviously just like everyone else, we tint him blue, and then we also throw some shadows on him. Okay. Because Caden's sitting right next to the mass reader, like he's about to go flying no, no, off no, no, at any no, minute. No, no. And as you guys know by now, we paint the highlights, and then we throw an exposure layer on it just to brighten those highlights up. And also because he's so close to Tally, and she's about to burn his damn face off with the Omni tool. Ah! 
I also paint the series of orange highlights on the right side of his face. And then for the third time in the video, we actually jump straight back to Tally. And actually using the same technique I did for the orange glow, I basically just used that just to paint a cool diagonal line effect for Tally's Omni tool. I then also finished off just by adding a series of layers just to finish off the blue highlights from Tally's left. I also did throw in one quick detail where I threw in a solid color and I just lit up Tally's mouth thing. What the f and then we jumped to Rex. Shepard? Rex? And I think Rex was just like too dark to start adding any highlights. So first I take him in blue and then I used an exposure layer just to brighten him a little bit. And then after that, I was actually able to add some highlights. So I first threw in some highlights just for the explosion. <laughs> And then I added an exposure layer just to brighten these up quite a lot. I completely forgot the shadows, so I also added those in with an exposure layer. I then also painted, obviously, a small haze behind him, just to make him a lot more different from the explosion. And then, yeah, obviously, we have to add the blue highlights. So, yeah, I filled a hue and saturation layer for the highlights, exposure to brighten them up, and then, obviously, a haze layer just for the look. And now we move to Captain Anderson, who is literally the embodiment of an Easter Island head. And so obviously the same stuff before, we tint him blue, and I actually added some layers just to simulate the effects of the explosion on his uniform. And then of course, took a few layers to put some highlights on him. And then we put the blue haze by them as well. And now we move to the very sus matriarch Benezia. And because half of her head is missing, I actually had to go and make my own. And I know it sounds weird, I promise you it's not. And basically with a solid black color, I just painted what I thought her head would look like. And after some time, I was able to rebuild her head the same way someone rebuilds a Lego person. <laughs> And just like the police will do, where they inevitably interrogate her about the missing money. Here's the fucking money, shithead! I lit up her face with a curves layer and two exposure layers. And obviously I then threw on the blue tint to turn her into a smurf. And then I painted some highlights on her, mostly using hue and saturation and exposure layer. To make her stand out just a little bit more, I actually added the background glow. So I threw a solid color and an exposure layer just to make it look a lot more dramatic. And the next thing we move on to is the Mako. And it literally handles like a six-wheeled mobility scooter. Yeah! And what I did for the Mako was actually pretty simple. I basically just threw a tint on it. I threw some highlights on it. I threw some shadows on it. And then I threw a haze on it. And because the post is actually kind of dark and we're driving out of space, I did actually put the headlights on as well. And then of course we jumped to the Destiny Ascension. And I know it looks strange because this is actually a non-canon form of it where the ship actually survived Mass Effect 1 and didn't get blown to shit. Fuck and it was actually pretty simple what I did with the Destiny Ascension. I basically just darkened it, made it blue. I then also painted some highlights hey. on it and obviously we made those highlights brighter. And then I also added the small haze behind it. I then also added a few more small details like the troll yeah. behind it and this blue glow on the main cannon. And I literally cannot tell you for the life of me, why why put a cannon on this ship and then never use it? What is the point of that? And so literally the last person we're moving to on the poster is Sovereign. You are a fucking piece of shit! And so I basically just started off just by throwing some lasers over it, just to kind of even out the lighting on him. And, you know, it took some time, but, you know, we were able to do it. And from here, you know, we basically just do our signature, tint it in blue, throw the highlights on him, and then make the highlights brighter, and then we throw a hazel. I then gave him a trail effect, just like the Destiny Ascension, and I also made them just a little bit brighter. For the last little bit of the poster, I basically just went back to the orange glow in the middle, and I used this image twice to basically just bring out some of the color. And also with the process, it looks like I burned half a silence face off. And so at this point at the bottom, I added the words Mass Effect. And so to finally finish off this poster, I threw in a camera roll. And so people, we have finally finished our Mass Effect poster. First of all, I'm super proud of this poster. I love it so much. And actually last year for N7 Day, I actually tried to do this exact same thing. And honestly, it just didn't even look that good for me. I'm just gonna show it right now. It didn't look good. But also, one thing I actually love about this poster is you can actually tell what's inspired by Mass Effect 1. You know, stuff like the Geth, you have the Glow, you have the Destiny Ascension. All of these are actually inspired from the Mass Effect 1 cover art and other artwork I saw for Mass Effect 1. <laughs> but that's enough for today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And you know, shout out to the cast and the crew of Mass Effect. They're all amazing people. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did like the video, just be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate that. If you also want to go and drop anything in the comment section below, and I mean reasonably anything. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. And if you guys also want to go and subscribe to me, for whatever reason, you can also go and do that below. But guys, I have no idea how to close this out. I'm just going to finish by saying thank you so much for watching, and have a happy N7 day.